Good morning, friends. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a good day. Um, this video, it will be a full face. Um, I'm thinking, how do I explain this one? It's not really a full face of new stuff just because I don't really have that, but I do have this. This is exciting to me. I played with these shades kind of on top of an existing look over the weekend. This is from Lawless. It's called The One Lavender. All their eyeshadow palettes are called The One, but um, this one has some really opaque pigmented lavender colors and what appear to be some really good supporting shades in there too so I'm dying to create a look with that. There are some lip products in that collection as well and um, yeah I'm just going to be filling in the blanks for the rest of the face. First off, I'm going to grab for a little Benefit Professional Primer. This primer, since it was sent to me recently, I've been like retrying it. I had used it years ago, of course, but it feels so much creamier than it used to be. And it just puts this immediate veil over the skin. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can just see instantly what happened across the nose sides of the nose, cheeks, love. Not loving how one contact lens does not want to cooperate with me today. Also, a newish foundation that you may have seen me use before if you watch all the videos, um, my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I love this. Love it. It stays really well. It has such beautiful coverage on the skin. I wear the shade Capri and um, yeah, you've got kind of It Cosmetics style packaging here. I'm squirting out not quite a full pump. Everything's turquoise today. I I had the best day yesterday. I got to go with my friend Hillary and her kids and also my kids. We went to see Moana Jr. on stage. So a local theater arts company puts this on. It was a beautiful production. The music was great. The talent of these kids was just awesome. And the way the whole set kind of transitioned through things I thought was really cool and the way they worked with color was just gorgeous. I really just enjoyed every minute of it. So thank you for inviting us to come along. It was a great time, great lunch. See what's going on with this? The coverage is so nice and it does have like the appearance of a slightly juicy look on the skin, like are you seeing a little glow from your end? But yet it doesn't feel overly tacky. I love that middle ground, you know? And I'm just blending that in with a Sonia Kasia beauty blender type sponge, but really good stuff. Then we have a new concealer here from IT Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Dark Spots. Um, it's concealer plus serum, 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, caffeine, and it comes with a little brush at the end. So that's there. I've played with this a little bit. I've used it up on my under eye some and just kind of trying to make it work all over. I have the shade Light Cool 20. Instead of a buck foot applicator, instead of a doe foot applicator, we have, um, I don't know, it seems like a fawn foot applicator. It's even smaller. Let's just first go over an area where maybe we have like, let's say a little spot or a little redness. Let's kind of tackle that type of zone first. Got a little brush here, like I said, which seems to make it kind of ideal for just like dabbing it in, you know? But for me, I feel like I might forget to wash this brush real often, you know? It's hard enough to remember to wash all my brushes as is, but like it's connected to the product. You're just gonna need to be kind of careful with it and make a point to do that. Just generally concealer wise, you know, I use that around some redness. I don't have a full on like melasma type dark spot to try to cover, but I just thought, you know, maybe a little discoloration there on that part of the face, you could see exactly what it's doing. I am going to go ahead and put it up on the under eye as well. The shade is really good. And this was something I randomly just received in PR. Wasn't expecting it. Um, so I'm doing a couple spots in there. A little bit out here. Consistency is really thin. I'm going to spread it around a little bit with the end of this brush. I mean, it feels quite light to me. And I just think it's interesting that they're gearing this whole concealer toward dark spots. We see so many things come out and they're more like, you know, all about under eye. And then we kind of force that to work elsewhere on the face. And here it's kind of like, well, I guess it can work on the dark spots. It can work on the dark under eyes. Okay, so I just spread it around with the small tip of this and then I'm going to use my beauty blender since I got a dampened one here or my Sonia Kashuk sponge I should say from Target and I'm just going to dab in with it and we can see if the coverage is to our liking. The island gives us what we need. I've got all the Moana songs going through my head. 
Um, I feel good about that. I do feel nicely brightened, well covered in the under eye area, as well as what I did around like some nose redness and whatnot. I think they did a good job of packing in a lot of coverage to a pretty lightweight feeling concealer. Like this is a night and day difference texture wise from their Bye Bye Under Eye, which is very like emollient and kind of sticky, dewy, thick. This is very lightweight, more liquid, and I used a very small amount of product and it did a good job. There are certainly less expensive concealer options out there. I've been using a lot of Hard Candy Glamouflage, um, Elf Camo Concealer, those types of things. But if you're really into it cosmetics and you want some of the advantages of those certain ingredients, they actually call this Buildable Medium Coverage Natural Finish Concealer. So it may be a little less coverage than some of those other things I mentioned. But still, I think it's doing a phenomenal job. Now, on a literal dark, dark, dark spot, I'm not really able to assess it right now in that way. I'm not a big fan of the attached brush. I feel like that's kind of a gimmicky thing that makes you look twice at the product. You know, IT Cosmetics is a line itself. They make a ton of brushes. They make some really beautiful, nice quality brushes. And they stick this little guy on here. I'm like, mm. Because to me, it only feels like it's doing about half the job. You know, it's doing that sort of spreading step. But you gotta do a lot of tapping with that to really blend it in. Next up, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in Porcelain. And this, I swear, this is just like... I mean, and this is crazy, guys. Like, I'm not quick to make this comparison, but this feels to me just like my Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Airy. So that's the lightest, most brightening shade. I've been using this, like picking it up for touch-ups, using it at the tail end of my makeup look, just the same way I would use Airy, but I also wanted to try using it just with the powder puff picking some up. I've done this before, but I just don't think I've done it on camera, so that's why I'm making a point to do it now. But the texture of this powder is so nice. Like, it's really smooth, but yet it's not too powder foundation-y. It doesn't result in too thick of an application on the skin. I like that for the purposes of what I'm doing here. I'm so just getting it on and then I may dust away a little excess, but it looks really nice on the skin. I don't think I got too, too much on, but I'll go over this. For a little bronzer step, I'm going to use my Sculptino from uh, Tower 28. I really like this stuff. The shade I have is called Hammer. Um, really beautiful texture here. It does give a little bit of a dewy appearance, but I don't think it's too much. Like, especially over really matte skin that I've got going here, it's going to work just fine. But I just mean, if you were to put your finger into this product, it's got a little moisture in it. And I just picked that up straight from the pan with my 56. You could also kind of streak it on the face and then blend it in from there if you wanted to. But I feel like it looks so incredibly natural on my skin. Are you seeing? Like, yes. I also have been enjoying my Patrick Ta Contour Duo. That one, plus the brush that I got with it, really works well. Makes very easy work of the contouring process. See, look at that. It looks, I mean, I don't even feel super bronzed right now. I just feel like I've given my face some more, like, chisel. The tone is just that natural looking on me. I'm going to build a little bit more right up in here, so maybe I do look a little sunnier. I've got a video idea that I think you guys might like. I have some items where I'm getting down to the bottom, like some of them are skincare type things and just like daily use items. And I was thinking of, instead of replacing them with something new that I buy, just trying to replace them with something else within my collection, like shopping my stash for something new. New, quotes. <laughs> I've been tossing that around for about three weeks, so. I don't know. Love that. That is a really nice product and still surface of the skin does not feel like really messed with as a result of that being a very creamy product. So now I'm needing to make some color choices that I think are going to mesh well with my lavender palette. Kind of wanting to keep the blush on the cool side. I'm thinking Sydney Grace Luminous Light. I love this palette. Sticking maybe with Sweet Pea. A little bit in that highlight. I love these textures in here. They did an amazing job. Plus there's two other tones entirely. Like this turns up a little bit rosier than you think you're going to get out of that shade. But it's pretty and it does look natural. That's kind of what I need. I don't need to have like a purple cheek to match the purple palette, but I just want the cheek to appear to be very naturally occurring and not fighting too much for attention, you know, with the eye. But yeah, this sweet pea shade is great. It just looks like a little matte, like, hi, like, hi, 
hi from the back of the room. No. She's here to show up, and she's matte, and she just makes the cheeks look flawless. And then we can target that highlight right where we want it to be. Day Glow is gorgeous. No flecks of shimmer, just glow. Like, I don't quite know how they do it. I don't know how they pull off giving it that sheen, but yet you could, like, look at my cheek under a microscope and be like, you know, I'm not sure I can pick out any little separating bits, you know, that a lot of highlighters have. Oh, it's good every time. Is this like therapy in a combat? <laughs> uh, food I prepped over the weekend. I did something that is a hit every time. It's roasted veggies and turkey sausage. You get one of those like you know, U-shaped sausages. I put that just in a skillet on the stove, kind of brown it up. It's fully cooked, but you know what I'm saying? Like it gives it that like browned vibe. And then I do a big sheet pan. I used to just cook this on the sheet pan with my veggies, but I was running out of room on the sheet pan. Like it, it just felt too packed. So I'm like, I'll just do that on the stove. On my sheet pan, I have two bags of frozen broccoli florets on there. Two bell peppers are cut up on there and two sweet potatoes big sweet potatoes diced up and then to roast those I go for 10 minutes at 425 and then to kind of toss it around a little bit on my sheet pan and then 10 more minutes 425 then you know you get a big old bowl you take that, those finished veggies you mix them in with your sausage and then I put something on the side I made quinoa for bub last week as kind of like a side item so um, this week I actually did like a little orzo pasta thing with some olive oil, parmesan, cherry tomatoes. Just easy, just something a little bit on the side. Not a huge massive amount of pasta. It just gives a little different taste alongside this other stuff. And by the way, I do season all that up. The veggie mix, I toss that all in olive oil. I put on some Italian seasoning. I add some garlic, like minced garlic. So it has kind of an Italian sort of flavor. But yeah, that's one of his favorite things. I love a sheet pan of variety vegetables because roasted broccoli is the best, you know? Never in a million years did I think I'd get on here on my soapbox and start talking about how good broccoli is. <laughs> Come to realize I'm really a texture person when I eat. If I can have that variety of, oh, there's a sweet potato, oh, there's a piece of broccoli, a pepper, a piece of the sausage. I'm not crazy about meat, but it's yummy to me. I like that stuff. I grabbed a setting spray. I'm not sure if I'm grabbing this because I love it so much or because it's like the easiest one to reach for. <laughs> I do love it though. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Longwear Setting Spray, 12 hour wear plus hydration. Sprays out well, um, works well I feel. Just a few mists is all you need. And when you talk as it sprays, you can get some in your mouth. I don't know. And then you know what I see more than a few people doing? And I've done this before too. You bop over that setting spray with a beauty blender and then go in and this is apparently, according to Alex Earl, what locks in staying power. Going in with actually more powder. I'm just taking whatever was sitting there on the sponge, on the powder puff still. Who knows? I have good staying power even if I don't do that. But we're gonna move into eyebrows. Oh, I did a big like, well, it kind of turned into an unintentional declutter, but total like reorganization of the brow stuff. And Lawless did send in PR with uh, the palette. They sent some new brow stuff. Now they sent brow stuff not that long ago and the brow pencil like turned white on me. I realized that recently I went to use it and it's like this nice little, I would say medium-ish thickness brow pencil with an oval shape. And this is the shade Teddy Bear that I have here. But the one I had before, like I went to use it and the whole stick just kind of went bad, I guess. I don't know if that happened across the board to people. And so that's why they're sending out new ones. I, I don't know. It could have just been a classic, the product dried out kind of deal. But whatever the case, I ended up decluttering it. And then lo and behold, I was sent new brow stuff. So it's a nice little pencil. The oval shape, I'm not sure if it really like is making a big difference for me, but it's giving the pencil a nice in-betweener kind of size. You know, it's not as thick as some of those teardrop shape ones, but it's not as skinny as like Brow Wiz and all of those comparable ones. And I feel like it, it fills in nice and fast and it has your spoolie on the other end. And I do love like this kind of rose gold packaging that Lawless chooses on a lot of things. And you know what I've had a real craving for lately that I think we're going to make this week because I have leftover taco meat? A taco potato. Like taking a baked potato and putting like your taco meat on there 
sour cream, a little salsa, melt a little cheese on there. Yeah, sounds like a great idea to me. So I did get some potatoes for that. Also, how many of you guys shop at Sam's Club? or anywhere, I guess Costco, um, we don't have a Costco near us, so it's Sam's Club if you want like the bulk stuff. Actually at the point in life where that is beneficial in some different ways. A big thing of that sparkling ice pop, we got a big thing of the Skinny Pop popcorn bags for snacks and stuff, just various stuff. But where do you put that stuff? Like we don't have a big walk-in pantry room. Like where do you put your Sam's Club stuff. Yeah, you can take some little bags out and put them in your drawer and like, okay, now I've got granola bars restocked, but you've got it still a ton left. And where do those boxes go? We do have a small like bar room area and it holds a lot of our vitamins and protein mixes and things like that. And I'll stick like some of these boxes back behind there. There's no good place to put your Sam's Club boxes. Um, long wear stronghold conditioning, Oh, it's called Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax in the shade Medium Dark. This has one of those teensy little brushes. Does it hold well? I think it does, but I'm not sure it's really as good as some of my drugstore things that I've loved, like Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt or Hard Candy Teddy Brow. It is holding. I just think maybe it's not quite at that level, but... I do like it and I'm gonna use it because I, I like how it doesn't overload me with color. If I've already done a really pretty good fill-in with another product, I don't need a super opaque brow mascara to go over the top. So this is kind of nice when you've already gotten it pretty well filled in because some of those other ones do deposit a lot more color than you need. This comes out with a very nicely cleaned off brush. So yeah, good brow day. And then we're gonna Milani eyeshadow primer it. And this time I got the kids snacks for school because like parents are asked to send snacks on like a monthly basis. We stocked up this time around. We got them from Sam's Club. So I'm sending it a lot today. <laughs> And now it's going to be the teacher's problem where to put those big boxes. I think they got a place for snacks. The moment has come. The One Palette Lavender. This is currently available on Sephora. What do we have here? Well, the composition is such that we have a total of eight shades and three of them are shimmers, okay? And they all seem to be legit, creamy, nice pigmented shimmers. One is taupe. One is just a really brilliant um, light shade. I'm trying to decide if it has a little bit of a shift to it, maybe. Like some of the shimmer in there might, might shift slightly lilac, and then there's a pink. And then we have two kind of basic neutrals. We've got our two fun kind of lavender pops, and then something deep to anchor it. It looks gray at a glance, but I swear there's a little bit of a plum in it. It's kind of like a blackened plum. They call that shade Blackberry, actually. I don't know why I'm wanting to sneeze. My nose is wanting to run a little bit. I guess it must be allergies. I'm gonna first take this color right here. Classic started out kind of color, I know. But I'm gonna get that in my crease, and I'm using my Profusion crease brush. Got a kitten in here, just chilling. Cool, soft brown type of shade. There was a girl playing Maui on the stage show yesterday of Moana. She was so good, like absolutely perfect. Loved it. We're blending, we're buffing, maybe add a little more, you know. Trying to not only hit the crease, but let it kind of come up above as well. Are we seeing? Are we liking? I really like the texture of these Lawless eyeshadows. I'm going up above that now to that little bit softer shade. Honestly, it's a very, very soft lilac. It's got a little pinky lilac, and I'm gonna use that on the outer edge. What I was saying was textures are really nice in these shadows. I have the large um, Lawless palette that's called The One and it's a really nice quality. So we're just taking that brush, blending around the edge, and it kind of looks like, oh, there's your classic barely there cream type of shade, but no, it carries some pinkiness a little bit. There's some interestingly more complex shades than meet the eye when you look at this. I'm trying to decide what order I wanna go in because these are rock stars right here. I'm wondering if I go with them first. Mm. No, I'm gonna go with the dark first. I'm gonna take the color called Blackberry right here. So it looks like a deep gray, but there is some purple in it. I'm seeing even more of the purpliness on the eye. And we're just gonna pat that on the outer lid. 
I know this is often my my pattern with things, but it makes sense to me. I don't want to not incorporate this shade into the look. I'm trying not to cover too much of the lid with this though. I really want a lot of those lighter, really opaque, pretty mattes to show up. You know, we do want some of this. So this is my Morphe flat brush. I'm just going pat, pat, pat. And I can feel my brush coming up and touching my crease. And then I can go in with a small pointed brush and I can do that same shade, you know. We're just kind of making sure <laughs> that that gets up into the crease, right? Um, looking up close to see if I have any fallout, and I don't believe I do, so that's nice. Love this size of brush from Morphe. It's a flat brush with a little bit of a point, and we are going to play with both of these shades. First, going to go with this more purpley looking one, and it's so opaque. And the moment I put this shade, was I was just kind of playing around on top of an existing eye look the other day, the moment I put this on my lid, I was taken back to a cheerleading camp that I went to. Um, it was like a clinic. I think we had some UCA staff just coming to work on stunts with us. And I remember the girl had on this light lavender eyeshadow, and I thought, oh, that looks great. And me being me back then, I may not have said anything to her. And I do regret that. In this day and age, I would totally have like, I love your eyeshadow. I'm not sure if I said that back then. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But she did stick with me. Her face, her eyeshadow, and you best believe I was starting to wear lavender eyeshadow after that point. But this reminds me of that exact tone. Just the soft lilac and then this shade. If you look at it side by side with this one, this one looks like the lilac and you might call this one periwinkle, but cover this up and it's just like a cooler lilac, you know? I'm gonna get some of that and we're gonna put this on. Look how opaque. Oh, it's really satisfying. We're getting that on inner lid and letting it come touch the rest. I did get a little fallout because I just went a bit crazy patting my brush into this. <laughs> but a little does go a long way, truly. And it's so nice, so satisfying, so pretty. Like springtime. I do use this Real Technique setting brush. It's nice and wispy at the ends, I feel like, and I can just dust away if there's any fallout. But that's so nice. And we haven't even gone into the shimmers, but like, do I wanna cover up any of that intensity? No, I don't. So I'll use some of this light shimmer just around the inner corner. Just any kind of small, flat, controlled brush will do. And it's dazzling around your inner corner, like it really pops. And you know, on another day, one of those shimmery colors could really shine. You could use it mo mostly on the lid. You could overlap one of these mattes, but I just needed you to see on this day. Like, I went to bed thinking of the fact that I'm going to be using some of that lavender today. <laughs> and now we adjust. We look at things and think, you know, how do I want things to look coming out from that crease? I would almost take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, so we just dab between that one and that one just to give us sort of a maybe dark but not too dark thing and lift out, going a little higher than the crease. Mmm, yep, that'll do. I'm just loving what's happening on that lid space between those two shades. And then an option might be to take a little bit of the shimmery taupe. I haven't tried this yet, but what if we put some of that under the eye? Would this palette be for everyone? Well, no, if you have no intention of using those <laughs> lavenders, I don't think it's probably worthwhile, but if you're really craving some opaque matte lilac lavender shades, this is a good option because the supporting colors work really nicely with it. And then you've got quite a few options beyond those two little studs right there, okay? So that's real soft if you go with that one down low, but it's kind of adequate, you know. M Cosmetics Illustrative Liner. I'm going to do some of this across the top. I'm feeling like doing a wing today. That's why I went for the liquid. I have been doing a lot of my Persona liners lately too, just in everyday makeup wear. By the way, Persona sent out a little thing that said their cream sticks are back in stock, like the multi-sticks, blush sticks. You know, I've talked about 
really all of them. Teddy, Jam, Bubble, Kiss. They got them again. That looks really nice and clean. Yes. So this is a brush tip liner, in case anyone was wondering. I don't know that I always say that. It's a brush tip, which keeps the product coming out pretty juicy. Felt tips don't always deliver. I struggled a little bit on this wing, but I think I need to quit while I'm ahead or quit before I get too far behind. Maybe it's a way to put it. I am going to go bigger over here then. I think this pen is struggling a bit now because it had a lot of matte eyeshadow to go over and it just made it a little more difficult. Plus, it would make sense that this is about going to dry up soon. Before I move on to mascara, I want to like make sure that I've done enough here on the lid. I don't want the blending process to have changed my lid look at all. So I'm like patting a little bit more, just getting it all over that zone. I think that's so pretty. It makes such a pretty like peekaboo effect when you look down. Thinking of those of you who got really hard hit by the severe weather on Friday night, and Friday during the day, really. That was so scary. If you keep up with the weather, like we had an actual high risk, the National Weather Service put a high risk to just to our north and just to our south. And so we were in this still threatening seeming moderate risk, like right in between where we live in Southern Illinois. This is my hard candy mascara, the ultimate lash extension. It's got little spikies at the tip. Really good mascara. But anyway, we truly didn't come away with any major weather right where we live, but there was stuff to the north of us and there was stuff to the south of us. So they seemed to have a pretty good read on it, but it was just kind of a scary day. We see, the thing is, on days where you've got severe weather predicted late in the day, you don't want to be seeing the sun come out on those days because that adds to the instability in the air. Sorry, I worked in news long enough to pick up some of this stuff. You want like cloud cover and even maybe some rain showers. And that was what we had actually here. I don't think the sky ever fully cleared that day where I live. And so I think that caused our area to not get the severe stuff. But we did have some very high winds. So this is a really nice lengthening, defining mascara if you're looking for that kind of thing. This one from Hard Candy. Like, look at that. Nice length, uh, really good brush, a very combey feeling brush with little spikes at the end. Okay, I got a few, couple little specks on my eyelid over here. So I'm gonna have to let that dry flake them off. I'm going to put on a lash today because that was in my vision for this look. Um, so I'm going to handle that and I'll come back. Lashes are on. They're like a thick demi wispy. That's all I can say. Like a thicker, little bit longer demi wispy. I wish I knew the style. I just need to dig in and figure that out. But I made a big mistake. I went over my um, line with some eyeliner, like the band of the lashes, so I couldn't see the glue anymore. And Oh, it scared me. And I messed up my inner lid and had to go over it with more eyeshadow and like remove some of the mess, but now I think we're good. A new lipstick from NARS. They're called Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick, and it says a color meets care hybrid formula that delivers dimensional shine, nourishing benefits, and long-lasting wear. So these are interesting because they go on looking and feeling like a tinted lip balm, but they do have some staying power. So this is the shade Dolce Vita. And I just wish there was some identifying factor on the outer part that would tell you what color they are. But you put it on and you can lose some of that shine. And oddly enough, you do keep a little color behind. Like this is not a very intense shade. I wanted something just kind of soft like that. I don't know if maybe that's still even warmer than I want. I might actually top it off with something. But this is hard to explain because I don't feel like it's truly staining, but something in the color is lingering kind of on the lips even after you lose some shine. I haven't experimented yet with some of the more intense shades. That'll give me an even better indication of what's going on. But that Dolce Vita is nice and soft. And then when the lavender palette came out, they came out, Lawless put out Lavender Sorbet bay and violet bloom and i'm wondering about maybe just a hint of violet bloom over top of this shows some pink oh <laughs> hello don't, you don't delete me out your video don't delete you do you think i might edit you out i never edit out the video do you go back and watch my videos to see 
Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. No, you were in. This has a real pinky look. Don't you think my lips look pink? Not really necessarily lilac. Yeah, pink. It's pretty, but, you know, I, I don't know if that was exactly what I was looking for with the eye look. You smell good. I dabbed off a little bit of that. Here's what I'm going to do. Reapply a little bit of this. Hello. <laughs> They're taking over. We have the size uh, uh, now. You already dressed for the day under that robe? Oh, classic. Bye, we are going back to our room and feeding. Okay, very good. And then we're going to play with Barbies once Bobby, once Bobby says so. Okay. Oh my gosh, slamming doors. What in the world? I reapplied the Dolce Vita. I want to see a little bit of, um, is it Lavender Haze? That's the Taylor Swift song, Lavender Haze. Lavender Sorbet. Just a little bit. It's like I don't know what I want to do with my lips. This ends up on its own looking very like clear hint of pink. It's hard to know what to do with the lips in this situation. And I also want more blush. Soft, delicate, like it. There's the face, a little springtime glam for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope the lashes are sitting on there right. Let me know if there's any new products you're interested in, anything you want to see a review on, certain kinds of videos that you're in the mood for these days. Let me know in the comments section and I will see you again very, very soon. I love you. Bye.